I had one type of nuclear stress test one year ago in which they had me running on the treadmill. This year they tell me no running, just an injection. I can still run just fine. Why is this? Hello, my name is Alexander Postalian. I'm an interventional cardiologist here at the Texas Heart Institute in Houston, Texas. And welcome to Asked and Answered, where we try to answer uh, patient questions that are common and some that are not so common. And uh, hopefully we can make sense of uh, some problems that some folks are having. This patient could run. He used to get stress test running and now they're telling him to get a stress test that doesn't involve running even though they can still run. Okay, there's multiple types of stress tests. And the classic one is we put you on a treadmill and we hook you up to an EKG and we see if there's any electrical evidence of injury while you're exercising. And then sometimes after that we can inject you with a radio pharmaceutical, put you under a camera and see if all areas of your heart are getting equal blood flow to suggest if there's a blockage or not. Now, some patients cannot exercise, so we simulate stress with an injection. It's not really simulating stress, it's more like a vasodilator, but it simulates the conditions of stress, and we can still inject you with a radio pharmaceutical, put you under the camera, and see findings similar to what we would have seen with the exercise. So, that would suggest that, okay, if you can exercise, you don't need the medication. However, some of the stress machines, particularly some of the newer ones, the way they are set up, um, and the, some of the medications that we use do not allow for the running on the treadmill part. So that means that we can only do it with the injection, the simulation, the vasodilator. And coincidentally, some of these machines have better image quality than some of the older ones. So sometimes we're doing tests with injection, even though the patient can run because the image quality is going to be much better. Now, what I would do is I would make sure that you talk to your cardiologist, make sure they know you can run just fine before they decide, finally decide on the test. But if they tell you, hey, no, I wanna do it with the injection, then it's probably because it's the better machine. Uh, I would just go with the recommendations. Well, this has been great. This has been a pleasure to be here. You know, I, I love doing this. So please send any questions. It can be anything cardiology related, high blood pressure, diet, medications, testing, valve issues, pacemaker issues, heart failure issues, uh, exercise, you know, questions about limitation or what can you do, et cetera. Um, just send it all, we'll be happy to look it over. Maybe they'll feature in our next uh, session here. And again, this is a general discussion. So if you have any symptoms like chest pain, shortness of breath, it's always good to talk to your doctor. And remember that every patient is an individual. So while we can make general recommendations, in the end, we always make an individual recommendation for a specific patient. So when you're watching something, asking a question, just keep, keep that in mind. We're giving you a general recommendation, but if you want a specific one, talk to your doctor.